let's go for a ride! You are watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! First ride for 2015. Starting it out on with my CBR 600 double R. I haven't been able to ride all winter. First winter in the last three years that I have not been able to ride one single day here in Ohio. Absolutely sucked. We had such cold weather and tons of snow that I just couldn't ride. So here I'm riding early March here on a nice, lovely, sunny day here in Ohio. Finally, the weather is good for me to be able to ride, but I've got some updates for you and uh, the reason I decided to start the year off with the CBR 600 double R is because I might be selling my baby. I know I tried to sell this bike two times before and I couldn't go through with it because I absolutely love this bike. I done took your ass from the triple nickel all the way down to the shores of Lake Erie. Unscathed, not even a scratch on my ass. And you have the audacity to put my ass on the auction block like a two-dollar hoe. God damn it, don't you ever, ever do that. When you, they say when you find a good woman, keep her. Because it's hard as hell to find a good woman out there. Just like it's hard to find a bike that's good for you all around. And I treated you good. Treated you real good. I ride you good, don't I? You get you quick. You get you quicker with me. Zero to sixty in three seconds. Zero to hundred six point five seconds, motherfucker. And you put me on the auction block like a two dollar hoe. The fuck is wrong with you, man? God damn it, what's wrong with you? Don't do it again, motherfucker. Don't do it. All right. And I still love this bike, but you know what? I don't need two super sports. You know, it's unnecessary. It's time for me to switch to a different type of bike. And uh, so I think I'm going to trade this bike in or sell it. I don't know which one I'll do. But uh, I have three bikes in mind. And I want to discuss that in this moto vlog. And also I want to give you some up other updates. So without further ado, let's start this moto vlog off here for the new year of 2015. On oh, my CBR 600 Dibble R, baby. <laughs> I feel like a kid on Christmas Day, man. It's awesome. It's awesome getting back on the bike. All right. First off, let's get a little acceleration in here. <laughs> Gotta hear that engine. Love it. Good shit, man. God, I'm happy. I had, uh, I was starting to get cabin fever there, man. Being holed up in the house because it's so damn cold here in Ohio. But, yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna be selling my baby here. But, like I said, I got three bikes in mind, and uh, I think I'm going to go with a cruiser for my next bike. I had thought about a dual sport or supermoto, but we just don't have any trails here, guys. It's pointless, you know? The only reason I get a dual sport is if we had trails here and I can just get off the beaten path and, and haul ass on a uh, dirt road or, uh -oh, you know, a path in the woods or something. And you just can't do it out here. So, I mean, there's a couple of places, a few places you can go to to pay for and uh, where it's a ton of people and kids in there and just people shitting around there. And it's just, it's no, that's not fun for me. So... I think the cruiser is the best option for me so that I can just, you know, ride laid back on these uh, back 
country Ohio roads and just be laid back and enjoy the scenery but I'm looking for a cruiser with some balls you know you know I, uh, that Harley Davidson uh, breakout that I rode just didn't do it for me man that bike it honestly that bike really the the power on it felt like a scooter <laughs> okay off the line Shit. <laughs> and I know some of you guys say it's not fair of me to compare it to uh, the 600 double R and the 1000 double R. It's 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 a cruiser for God's sake, but that's all I've been riding. You know, I don't I can't compare it to any other bike besides that scooter and it was more like that scooter than anything. Actually, my scooter, that Chinese 178cc Chinese scooter I had, actually felt faster than that Harley Davidson breakout. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I love the looks of that Harley Davidson breakout, so I'm not trying to hate on the bike. It's just I'm being honest. I'm keeping it real. But I need a cruiser with some, some balls, some, some oof to it, you know. I don't even care about top end, obviously, man. I just want some low down grunt power. I want that torque off the line, zero to 60, three, four seconds. That's what I'm looking for. And there's two bikes that could fit that criteria. The Harley V-Rod or the uh, Suzuki M109R. Both of those bikes have a ton of power off the line. And that's what I'm looking for. Uh, as far as looks, I think the uh, the V-Rod looks the best, in my opinion. Uh, the M109 looks pretty cool, don't get me wrong. It just uh, kind of has some classic elements to the design, which is great. But I'm more of a, uh, you know, I'm more of a V-Rod type of look. But, you know, like I said, it's not all about looks. It's more about the riding experience. And that uh, looks is not number one on my list. Never has been. So, uh, I'm going to test ride both of those bikes. But there's another bike I want to test ride as well. The uh, the Victory 8-Ball. Uh, and uh, I don't know how the power is on that bike. But fuck! Look at them. Look at those. Shit, man. You see those potholes? God! Damn potholes, man. But anyways... Yeah, the Suzuki, uh, the Victory 8-Ball, it looks awesome, but it's got to have some balls off the line, man. If it doesn't have the power off the line, then it's just not going to do me any good. You know, if I wanted a bike for looks, I'd have got the Harley-Davidson Breakout, which is a beautiful bike. Uh, but what I like about the M109R is that the M109R has, the, uh, I believe it has the same brakes as the Suzuki GSX-R1000. It's got the dual front brakes, excuse me, dual disc front brakes. Very powerful braking, and that's what I want. I don't want a bike with some pussy brakes like that Harley-Davidson breakout. That's my old car right there, guys. I used to have a Lexus SC300. I also had a Lexus SC400, too awesome cars well built had no problems with those cars but anyways uh, I'm a motorcycle enthusiast now <laughs> I don't give a shit about cars anymore but just kind of brought back some nostalgia but anyways yeah the the Suzuki M109R it's got the powerful brakes also another thing I like about it it's shaft driven I don't have to deal with chain maintenance bullshit which as you guys know that last video that I did I talked about how I hate you know cleaning and lubing the chain every three to six hundred miles it's not hard work it's just a pain it's just irritating to me which you know I'll have to deal with with the CBR 1000 double R but just for the next bike, it would be nice not to have to deal with that bullshit anymore. You know, I know there are some a uh, couple of drawbacks 
to the uh, shaft driven bikes I, it supposedly has the uh, uh, when you uh, crank the throttle off the line it does have some jump to it from what I hear but it, they say it's not a big deal like I said I'll be test riding the bike and I'll be able to see for myself and uh, so yeah give me your feedback on the V-Rod the Suzuki M109R and the Victory 8 ball I'd appreciate it and uh, now as far as the weight issue now you got as you guys know I, I love bikes damn baby uh, uh, uh. as you guys know I like lightweight bikes but for a cruiser really a lot of times the weight is is down low so you don't really feel the weight as much like that Harley Davidson breakout that I rode it another update I'm also looking for another helmet I want to try out a modular helmet this time because it'll be nice to be able to just flip the front up and get a breather you know in traffic you know if I'm sitting at a light and uh, so and I've never experienced a modular helmet so we'll see uh, I did I had purchased the Scorpion EXO 900X in a high vis and that helmet was just it it was really comfortable and it was well constructed but it's too damn heavy that helmet is like freaking like 4.3 pounds or something like that and when you put the cameras on the helmet it just it it felt like a brick on my head so uh i sent it back and i ordered a lazar i guess that's how you pronounce it l-a-z-a-r um carbon fiber modular helmet and supposedly that's that's the lightest modular helmet on the market so we'll see how that helmet it got a good rating at the uh, sharp rating system uh, excuse me the sharp website it got four stars and uh, so we'll see and I'll give you an update and full review as I normally do on any gear that I get but that's pretty much all that's going on here so until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces! Check this out though guys, I want to show you this. This is that twisty road here that I did that video on a couple of videos ago. And uh, it's closed. Ton of snow on it. We had just shitload of snow this winter. And really cold weather, which really sucked. But I wanted to come out here and hit the twisties, man. <laughs> And I come to this bullshit, man. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.